Yo, what up? Welcome to my trash can. Actually, we're not playing any trash because we're not playing freaking Moro Chronicle. Nah. Nah, Idea Factory sucks and we're not playing any other games anymore. Hmm. Instead, we're gonna play Yuz Ilseta, an actual good game. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I was kidding about Idea Factory. They're not the worst company I've ever heard of. Although they are one of the worst RPG companies, I'm pretty sure the worst RPG company to date is probably, um... Shit, what was it? Oh yeah, Kimco. Freaking Kimco, dude. Yeah, I should play a Kimco RPG someday to show you how bad it is. It's basically just RPG make... Oh, a new version of... A new version of Minecraft? Is it the Nether update? Yeah, I kind of heard about the Nether update yesterday. So I'm kind of wondering what it's all about. Even though I've never been to the Nether. Yeah, sad to say I've never been there. You know, is there any other shops in this area? A blacksmith? Cool. Reinforce and refine. You need to trade so We need to trade our silver in for some let's trade our silver in for make a bunch of silver. a bunch of silver and then we can upgrade our weapons. And then we can reinforce our weapons a little bit. I'm kind of wondering if we have enough. And I kind of want the redstone. I guess I'll make a couple topazes. Really, really would like to make some rupees because burn status is very, very OP. Let's reinforce our weapons. We're going to use our. Our silver ingots. The reason we're doing that is because we want to enhance our stuff. Oops. Now we want this. Our stuff. The reason we're doing this is to make it stronger. There. I think we got all that silver. I kind of wanted to trade it in for gold, to be honest. Alright, what can I exchange? I don't have any silver. Oh, I can get some redstone. I can get two redstone. I might as well trade all this stuff in for better stuff. Since you can't really use the weak stuff for forging any for making anything. Glad we don't have to go back to Kassan anytime soon. But we might want to turn in the map. There we go. 
good we can make this. Now let's make a bunch of that. Damn, I need sturdy shells to make this. I can make some frog ass extract. Actually, let's make a couple of that. Let's make a whole bunch of this. Sorry, I know the menuing is not entirely exciting. Oh well, what this is is basically what you did in Yus 8. Trade in weak materials for higher grade materials. I really needed to do that in the game, yeah. Sure, I'll trade in for some fruit. I can trade that in for this. I wish I had more strange mass so I can make... Oh well, we have enough redstone to give one person some burn status. I think I might want to save it for save my redstone for later though. Okay, what's this place? Oh, this looks like a quest board, but there's no quest here yet. Maybe we get them after we finish everything. Yeah. Right now we should probably fill in a map. This is where the This is where those seahorses were kept. Yeah, I'm calling them seahorses. They do look a lot like horses, and they're, um, on the sea, yeah. They're, um, seahorses, you see. And the people highly regard them as sacred beasts, you see. Around here, because they rely on them for fishing, you see. And I'm guessing the evil magician might have something to do with the poisoning of the river. Which reminds me of Kafka. Yeah, Kafka. What's my, what makes me wonder if um, she was taking inspiration from all her favorite villains? I mean, she might have been inspired by Xenonor to make people's hearts into darkness. Hmm. She could have been inspired by Kefka to poison the river. She might have been inspired by Sia from Hyrule Warriors to get plastic surgery. There, I, I'm just joking, of course. It's nice to meet you. I'm sorry, I forgot about you, but you're the one that introduced yourself. But who poisoned the river? It has to be it has to be the big bad evil guy. the big bad evil guy would of course be would of course be that evil magician that we ran into. Now that would make logical sense. Anyway, let's I guess let's go find the culprit. Maybe we should look around the village for clues or something. Somebody must know something about days ago. But, um, left the village ten days ago, so we... Alright, I... Alright, do you know any? I'm not a poisoner. I'm not Kefka. I'm clearly not Kefka, guys. Is there anyone here who could help us? Right, this is Ozma's house. Yeah, Ozma, he's um, related to Guzma, you see. Says his name sounds similar. That, 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 um, the...
I'm guessing the uh, I'm guessing the evil magician framed Adel in some way. Oh, it must be red tide. Oh, maybe it maybe it wasn't poisoned after all, it's just red tide. It's coming from upstream, huh? Maybe we're supposed to go upstream then. Now, does anyone here know anything? Hey, we're gonna find a real culprit, trust me, because Adol is a good guy. He is a pure dude. E e Eum is um, a lot like Mario, you see. Yeah, he's not he's not he's not like Kefka whatsoever. Hey fishies, can we do anything with you? There must be some reason for coming over here. Maybe there's a secret? Hey fishy. Glad the fish don't want to eat my face off. No, oh, it just leads over here, okay. Hey, Picard, do so you know anything about the poisoning? Sure, let's give... Here, you can have one of these. Oh, thank you for the spider web. I'll help us make another Wanderer's Cloak, guys. So who else haven't we talked to, though? Alright, we haven't talked to anybody in here. Yo, do you guys know anything? You know anything? You know anything? Uh, sure? Okay, we got tickled, apparently. Does anyone here know anything? Maybe he knows something. Anyone up here? Nope. We need to talk to everybody. I assume. I assume we have to talk to somebody who's got another cutscene. Hey, we haven't been in these houses yet. Maybe there's a clue. Yo, do you know anything? No. You don't know nothing. Does anyone in here know anything? Hello? Hey, do you know anything about who poisoned the river? No. Actually been in here yet. Maybe someone in here knows. Yo, do you know anything? But you. You know anything. Nope, these be these creatures cannot even speak English. I doubt they know anything. Wait a minute, there's another house down here. To investigate that. Oh, this is just where we were kept prisoner. There is somebody here. Oh, do you know anything? 
Nope. And do you know anything? Let's poke the frog. Now, you're not supposed to fro poke frogs. I guess, um... I guess Adel is too much of a normie for that. Oh, do you know anything? Oh, do you know anything? No, you don't seem to know anything. You can have a fresh leaf. Let's give a... Oh, we got a strange mass from it. I'm kind of wondering what those strange masks are made of, guys. Hey, do you know anything? I'd like to know. Who else do we talk to, though? I haven't talked to you. Yes, how does it? Is that all you really got? This guy doesn't seem very nice. Alright, I guess that was the person we were supposed to talk to. It was after I... River was dyed red. Which means that it was red type poisoning all the time, and it was just a natural event, and we're being blamed for super. We're being blamed for it. Yeah, it's a natural event. Upstream. So we're gonna have to go upstream. It wasn't a person. It could be someone from the village. It couldn't be Adol because he left. Who would be doing it? Some sort of monster. Okay, what do you want with me, Mr. Ozma? Oh, we're riding on these? Cool, do we get to control them? I want to control them! Please let me control them. Heard. Wait a minute, that's a plane! That's a paper airplane. That's an airplane. And it's spreading the poison. But who's responsible for making that? Poison!
You don't need to apologize, Master. Who do you, who was it then? There's not been any way a human. Sparta's what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, why did... So the beasts we're riding on were the ones poisoning the river? What? Oh, wild ones? Do the villagers know about this? I would think that this would become a knowledge among them. Wait, what? They have no idea. What? You're forbidden from telling them secrets, even though you know they're poisoning the river. Now, then again, they might kill them, so obviously they want to protect them, right? Unless they're vital to them, yeah? You probably wouldn't believe it. Let's go upstream to solve this. But then why are the Sparta poisoning the water then? Is some we saw a paper airplane, so I assume someone is causing it. Someone is behind this. I suspect the evil magician that we ran into. Down there? Down there at the rune, huh? All right, he's finally joining the party. For real this time. Let's see, he's using Pyrrhuset element. I can see it right there on the map. All right, so what's your current equipment like? You got a spear and you got, and you got that. Cool. Here, you can have a skill ring one. Defense ring. Wonder how you're gonna play. Uh, I don't want to upgrade him his stuff. Maybe. Maybe we have enough redstone. Maybe we have enough redstone for just one. Or I'd like to make a rupee. And then I like to give Adol. Burn ailment. Sure, you can have some burn. You can have some paralysis. And here, you can have silver ore. Have some more silver ore. Sure, you can have more silver ore. You can have some more silver ore. Then we'll upgrade it with a. Yeah, you can have an emerald. That'll give you some poison. Yeah, that'll get that'll help us a little bit. That'll help us along our way. Right, let's head downstream. Okay, what? Where are we? Oh, there's a memory nearby. We gotta go get that. It's here. Oh, it's related to Adel's. <laughs> it's 
The Edo may be an adventure, but he's a pure dude. He's... He's a lot like Mario or Link, you see. Definitely a lot like Mario. Must be the red. Of course, red is the color of dirty commies. And that, uh, we can't like people that are red. Although Adol is pretty cool. He's red. He's red and he's cool. So it probably wouldn't matter if he's a commie or not. I'm just kidding about that, of course. We don't actually think that. Man, remember that one play? Remember that one movie where... One DC movie where people thought the Flash was a commie because he, he was wearing red? Yeah, that, that was happening. Yeah, they were fighting Cadmus in that. Damn, I don't remember which one that is because it's been so long since I've seen it. Yeah. Sorry to say. Should we go this way? Yeah, that's the wrong direction. It's like, no, we're not allowed. Yeah, but I want to explore. I want to... Oh, frick me. Frick me, I got eaten by the frickin' frog. Yeah, maybe Bummy is putting stuff in the in the water to, um... Yeah, to mess with the frogs, man. That's probably what's causing all the poison. It's actually not the Spartas. It's the, it's the chemicals that she's putting in it to make the frogs weird. Yeah. She's making the frogs gay, you see? Alex Jones was right all along. I'm just kidding, of course. I don't actually think that. <laughs> mm. Forgive me for my... <laughs> Forgive me for being an idiot. Mm. Watch out for tongue. Good, we're poning these frogs pretty easily. We're, like, one-shotting them. I like one-shotting things. Damn it, we're putting all the status ailments on these enemies. Er, well, it helps that the frogs are very weak to um, getting sported in the face, you see. They're weak to it, you see. This is only logical. I mean, they have incredibly soft bodies. Of course, the ways of the frogs are very strange and very mysterious, and... Um... I quite like frogs. Of course, we're gonna hippity hoppity over to, over to whoever's poisoning the river, and we're gonna be like, nah, you're not allowed to do that anymore. Oh frick me! They're they keep grabbing me with their tongues. I don't like that. Good news, we got some silver ore. I figured we might as well just grab that. Good, get one shot. Alright, this is the place, right? Yeah, this is the place we couldn't go to earlier. Yeah, I'm guessing that Ozma also has a field skill, much like uh, Mr. Duran and Adol. And Karna. Yeah, so what's going on over here? They're captured here when they are infants. Maybe they're just burdened alone, dude. Oh, that's why... Yeah, the people rely on these bees to help them, so... Can't tell them that they've been poisoning them. That would probably be very devastating for the village, you see. And it would um, make the villagers succumb to the darkness within darkness. Maybe if we can fill this area up with water, we can get to where we need to go. Maybe. Alright, can we go this way? Okay, let's do it. Spear thus, we can break through the walls. Leave it to me. Understood. Mm. 
Damn, he must be slow AF if he can just break if he can just break balls by thrusting a spear into them. What is this spear made of if that if it can do that, man? There we go, we opened a path. See? My um my adventure instincts were right on the money, dude. I kind of want to play as a student and see what he's like. All right, what do we, what do we have to deal with? Oh, damn, this looks like a dungeon. Sacred Beast Lair. Looks like there's a bunch of frogs everywhere. Maybe my frog conspiracy was right. Mommy was making the frogs do it, do it all the time. Yeah. She was using the frogs poison to poison the water. Yeah, the frogs were poisoning the Sparta, the Sparta were getting sick and agitated, and then they were poisoning everything. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Got some iron ore. Not that we'll be needing that. We're pretty much one shotting pretty much devastating all the enemies. Damn, there's a bunch of frogs everywhere. Those do not look friendly. Those fish down there do not look friendly. It's probably my adventure instincts that tell me that fish with sharp looking teeth are probably not friendly. We should probably get out of the water before those fish notice us. We have to lower the water level somehow. Alright, let's try going this way. These are some sort of monster. Guess when they're weak to getting smashed. Topaz, a Roto Droplet, Silver Ingot. Alright, we're supposed to pick the lock with Duran. Oh, we're doing Slate Fragments again? Yeah, every dungeon in this game has got to have slate fragments, apparently. I mean, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, so... That's perfectly fine. Gotta beat up all the enemies. Now we're encountering some shells. Yeah, they're the shell blades from Zelda, you see. They're trying to shell blade us. Right, we have to go this way. Poor frogs. We gotta defeat them in their evil conspiracy to poison the Spartas, you see. I'm just kidding about that. I really don't know what the deal with the Spartas is. Something's definitely up, though. I'm just glad we can put statuses on all these things. Let's grab the shell. reason we can't do it. I think I'm doing it wrong. Maybe we have to lower the water level a little bit first? Let's try going down here. See, that burn status is coming in really handy. I like having all those status ailments. No, it appears we're just doing it wrong. Yeah, for some reason the prompt didn't come up. 
Oh well, let's break it down. Alright, that um, apparently increased the water level there. Well, I see what we're gonna do. We're trying to reach another area. Yeah, we're trying to reach that area there. No, they're not weak to spear. But we altered the water level, which means we should be able to reach a new area. Oh, as was as was definitely described as that was very obvious, guys. Do I know what I'm doing, guys? Alright, which way do we go, though? Ah, here we are. Wait a minute. There's stuff that's this way. What is that, then? Temporary HP recovery app, huh? I guess that could be helpful. So it like doubles your. So it temporarily increases your healing, right? Wait, I saw another treasure chest. Oh, but we can't get it yet. Good, that flame is coming in. Those flames are coming in really handy for depleting the enemy's HP for us. You knew getting redstone was a good thing. I like all that. I like all those ailments on the enemies, guys. You're telling me we can't go under that? Maybe we're supposed to look for it on the other side. Yeah, that would be my guess, anyway. Of course, we don't know if that's true or not. I like that. Come on, stop hopping around everywhere. These movements are very jittery. Come on, stop jittering about. Come back here. Could we beat the shell blade anyway? Is there any place to put the spear in the wall? Get out of here. Good, we get four cracked shells. There we go. That'll lower the water even. That'll get rid of this water. Now we can get up there. Ooh, what's this? Where is that? Oh, I know where that is. That's in the run room we were in previously. Yeah, he needs to pick the lock. The silver axe, what? What does that do? Increases drop rate of rare items. Actually, you know what? That sounds really useful. I'll I'll put that to eight all. Okay, they're getting flames. The flame is coming in really handy. We're depleting all the enemy's HP pretty quickly with it. Which it seems it's not quite as good as, um... 
Maybe if I upgrade it a little bit more, it will be even better. I have upgraded my weapons and stuff, which makes dealing with the enemies a little bit easier. There's nothing we can do about that area there yet. Now they're weak to strike element, so they're resistant to my sword. There, we took care of that. You're telling me we can't go in that wall? Can't go in that hole in the wall? Maybe we're not supposed to. Maybe, right? Maybe that's where more water comes. Or water came out. Be careful. It. If we're getting better items too, silver axe seems to be really helpful. Let's get rid of the frogs. Good you have planes and paralyze on you. Get back here. Stop hopping around. Frickin' frog. I know it's you that's behind this conspiracy guy. I know the frog is behind the conspiracy. Maybe there's some treasure chests that we can get. Perhaps we should do that first. So we don't miss anything. Get flamed. Get back here. Stop running around. There we go. We got him. We got him. And we already got that treasure chest. Here's to be a treasure chest deep underwater. I'm gonna have to find a way to get to that. Maybe if we find an item that will let us go underwater, we'll be able to well, go underwater. Maybe it's in this very dungeon. Maybe all the dungeons have an item that you have to use between each one of them? Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. Like the last dungeon had the dwarf amulet, maybe this one has the water stuff. We're going underwater. See, this boulder came up. Chapter Shell Blade here. I know it's not a Shell Blade, but I like to think of it as one. Yeah, thrust that spear into that wall and break it. Damn, Osmo's Osmo like Spoli, yeah. I kinda like him. Oh good, we broke the wall. And we're able to get up there now. That's showing us where to go. Alright, we're gonna have to go over there. I wish we could rotate the camera. Evidently that's not the case. Now which one of these leads to where we gotta go? That seems suspiciously like a boss. Maybe each dungeon has like two bosses too. I don't know why I came back in here. Oh, just banged up on more enemies. Yeah, 
And he's like level 22 and everybody else is like level 22. Yeah, he's like level 16, guys. Means he needs a great... He's a little under level compared to Adol and Duran. Let's swim out of here. Hopefully we can get some... Hopefully the next ball. Hopefully whatever weird boss is up ahead will give us what we need. Uh-oh, this looks like a boss chamber. Here it comes! We're gonna solve the mystery of what's antagonizing the beast in this area. Oh, frick me, what is that? It's like some sort of dragon and centipede. It's shooting water spears. Serpent of the Rapids, huh? This could be our target. Alright, let's wipe it out. Good, it's only got one health bar. Damn it, we're, we're, we're depleting that health bar pretty quickly. Damn it, resist paralyzed though. Watch out for its water spears. It's going underwater. And we're beating it really quickly though. Because we took the time to update our gear. But he's kind of shooting us quite badly. It helps to be over leveled and have really good gear. That was easy. Man, does this game just get easier as you go on? Hey look, that looks like an important that looks like it has a lore item. Water Dragon Scales, I assume that lets you go underwater. I equip the water... Can freely... Can swim freely and breathe underwater. Yeah, that's an artifact. I knew it was gonna... I knew that was gonna happen. I mean, that happened in Use 8, too, where there was an item that let you breathe, that lets you breathe underwater. Here's this game had that as well. I was wondering how we were getting underwater. Yep, there's murder fish down here. But we took care of the fish. Come and get me if you can. Where the frick is Ozma? Is he down here with us? Did he get stuck somewhere? Good, we're getting hide from these enemies. Might as well get the clear liquid too. Yeah, we got murderous fish down here. I knew the fish were not friendly. They're like little piranhas. Alright, can I open this? Nope, nope, nope. Alright, powering one. I don't like that we're forced to fight underwater. Alright, so where are we supposed to go down here? Really see where to go. Alright, I know where we're supposed to go. 
I think I get where I'm with I get where I'm going now. Right, I'm supposed to go over to that one area, yeah? Over here? Yeah, over here. There was an area we couldn't get to before because we couldn't swim before. Might as well grind up on some enemies. Every little bit of experience does help you. Frogs are almost as agile as Adol is, man. Kinda weird. I kinda look forward to Yuz 8, Yuz 9 coming out soon. Yeah, Monstrum Knox, I want that to come to the state soon. I hope Falcon will grant my wish this year. No, well, they said that it was come. Oh, I heard it was coming out this year, so... Oh boy, we got Murderfish. Yeah, we got Piranhas. It's like Piranha 3D, man. Got some hides. Wait, there's another area over here? I see that hole over there. I assume that's where we're supposed to go. Need to dive down. I grab the items from off of these. Come back here, murder fish. Yeah, get flamed and paralyzed. Now where are we? This looks like it's the place to go. Damn, this reminds me of Trials of Mana in that waterfall area. What the heck is this thing? Whatever it is, it's shooting poison I don't like that. Seems to be a rare enemy. Frick me, what is this? It's like some sort of tree. More frogs? Because of course, it's, it, it's a frog conspiracy, guys. And we got some shellfish in here. Guess I'll break that open. Appears to be treasure around here. Don't see where it is though. Maybe we're supposed to go in the water. Yeah, we're definitely supposed to go in the water. It's a good thing we came over there. We need to fill in the map anyway. Alright, are you ready for more misadventures underwater, guys? Oh, frick me. Was there a current in here? Yeah, this reminds me of Majora's Mask. You're supposed to dodge the currents. Like in the Pirate's Fortress. Hey, there's a weak ball down here. And yeah, we're supposed to switch over to Osman. There we go. We're supposed to break it multiple times, huh? Okay, I assume that's correct. I also assume there's a treasure chest behind here. Now we may have to go back and come back in here and redo this. 
Now there's a treasure chest. Let's go grab it. The ring, level one. Oh, it reset the puzzle. Okay, thank you. I'm happy for that. Here, break it, Osman. Damn, how does this dude break boulders with his freaking spear? And what is his spear made of that it lets him do that? Also, how swole is he, man? Hmm. He must have, like, superhuman muscles and have, like, a spear that's made out of stuff that's not found on Earth. He has the strongest spear known to existence, guys. And also the biggest muscles, too. Alright, we want to dodge the currents. See, it's not so hard. It's just like the Pirate's Fortress in Majora's Mask. Sort of. And that one you had to, yeah, and that one you were using the Zora Mask to do that. Alright, let's go. And we just cross the bridge over here. Frick, there's a monster. Good, we got the skill finish. Oh cool, Greenstone. I like Greenstone. Greenstone lets you get poison. Alright, there's stuff here. We're supposed to go underwater again. Looks like there's some mirror fish down here. I'm seeing some sea urchins. And those things hurt. I assume you're not supposed to run into sea urchins anymore. Alright, which way are we supposed to go though? Yeah, that seems like it's supposed to be... Look, a treasure chest. There, you picked the lot. I got another slate fragment. Which makes me wonder if there was a slate fragment in the other one. I may need to go back, guys. I'll go do that real quick. Hopefully it didn't reset the puzzle on me. Good, the flames got him. I'll just go check real quick on the on that. We might need the slate fragment to be able to beat the boss, you see. I'll wait for Adol to get the poison off him. this thing weak to? Seems to be paralyzing me. Yeah, I'm paralyzed, dude. Why am I paralyzed? Why can't I move? Why are my movements so janky, dude? Get back here. Get wrecked. 
Don't give me that hide. She's ailments for go away. Hopefully it doesn't seem to be affecting swimming. This seems like a new area that we haven't been to. What is down here? Diverting paths that could lead anywhere. There's a chest over here. Here, pick the lock real quick. Yep, that led to a slate fragment. So we needed to come back here. Now I'm kind of wondering what's down the other path. We need to fill in the map anyway, so we might as well check it out. Hopefully it's something good. It's a weak wall, guys. What the heck? Beavers? Seems like this is a little challenge area. Damn, be these things are actually beavers? They seem like frogs to me. I guess we're supposed to beat all of them in order to get the treasure chest. Come on, stop running around, you beaver. Yo, fight me. Come and get me if you can. No, I don't want to fight him in the water. Come and get me. I get on the end. Feed him. Now I'm kind of wondering what's in this treasure chest. It's got to be something really good, right? Sapphires, huh? Oh yeah, sapphires let you get freeze ailment. Actually, that's entirely worth it. I'm glad we came over here. Let's not worry about these fish. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we got murder fish in our way. I believe we're getting out of here. And our ailments cleared up. We should probably use a couple honey potions. So we took a bunch of damage. Alright, that was my level up. That's good. I like that. Let's get out of here. We've been playing for quite a while. I'm happy to keep playing this. Bam, spam, spam. Now you see, that's a that's what that's what the use eight that's what the use meta is. You find skills like you can spam and beat all the mobs with them. Yeah, like that. See, that's how you do the meta of this game, guys. Like you didn't know that? Except we got flames on them. I like getting flames on enemies, it's very entertaining. But we still finished it. Nope, there's no war there.
We got urchins and murder fish on us. We've already been that way. Watch out for the urchins, they explode. Let's go through here. Frick, there's an enemy right there. There's a bunch of tough enemies. Good, we took care of them. And we got all the stones here. Alright, more swimming. Let's just keep spinning. You know, I was assuming something was after us. Let's see, what's this way? This just led to a bunch of materials. For no reason. Come and get me if you dare. You have to lure them on land. Come on, come up on land. There we go, we took care of them. There, that forms a bridge. Good, we, good, we beat him. Because there's a treasure chest around here. Better potion? I think we should do the boss door first. That just leads back to the beginning room. Got to beat that thing. Let's get out of this water. Good, we beat it. Let's go over to the boss door. Some sort of sea scorpion of some sort. Doing well. Alright, let's do this. Alright, it's just like the one we found earlier. You just put it in like that. And put it in like that. And then rotate and put that in. There we go. This is the final boss. This is the door. This is the door to another boss. Yeah, we should keep moving. No, we're not going to have to fight underwater, are we? And I hope not. I really, really hope that's not the case. There's something here. A monster. Wait a minute, that's not a monster. Wait, why does it have knives in it? Oh, frick me. I think we might have found our target, guys. It's a fish. Why's it got knives in it? 
Did the villagers do that? Frick, we're fighting underwater. It's guarding against all our attacks, guys. I think we're supposed to knock the urchins into it. Yeah, we're supposed to knock the urchins into it to damage it. It's getting it's getting rather close to us. There we go. What's it doing now? Is it phase two? It's trying to get away. Why does it have smokestacks on it? Is that like sea sponge that's on it? I assume it's gonna turn. I assume it's gonna go on land now. And I might as well follow it. After that dastardly thing. Is it out here now? Where'd it go? Uh oh, where is it? Hey, little guy. That's yeah, running away from us. Yep, it's back for phase two. Yeah, you still have a bone. Damn, now it's a walking on land. Well, that'll give us the advantage. We'll be able to beat it now. Yeah, it's some sort of anglerfish monster, but like sea sponge smokes the axe on it. Guards from the front, okay. Wait, maybe I'm supposed to hit the... Maybe I'm supposed to hit the rod. Ouch. Cricket shooting bubbles at us. Ouch. I got eaten. It resists paralyze, huh? Ouch, it's fighting us. Dodge the bubbles, dodge the bubble. Good, we've got the flash move on it. Ouch. I was hoping to hit it. Damn it, hit us again. We have to hit it in the ball. We have to hit it in the angler's rod. Where are you going? Where are you going? Are you running away? He's now gonna do a jumping attack now. It's doing a jumping attack. 
I'm gonna have to wait for this to pass. Come on, come and get us. Ouch. Well, we gotta be careful of that. We almost got it. Good, we got one of the health bars down. And we beat it. Damn, once it got stunned, it was actually pretty easy. Pitch rat. Damn, not gonna lie, that was pretty tough. You gonna catch it, dude? No. There's a problem, but got knives on it too. Here it is. Cause it got knives in it. Someone put knives in it, but who would do that? I assume Balmy is the one that did it. Okay. Whose knives are those? And someone came in here illegally. Oh, frick me. Another boss! Um. Er Uh, so we're, are we going to have to fight him? Alright, let's break the tusk. So are we going to have to fight him? Okay, so we're going to have to beat him up. Sure, let's break through. Wait, what? Is the infant gonna talk sense into them? Oh my! Oh, they're leaving. It's thanking us, isn't it? We saved the day. <laughs> Wait, who? You soft in the head or something. They're beasts, not people! Who is that? Who the frick are you? Are you with the evil magician that we saw earlier? Evil beast aimer. So are we going to have to fight this guy? What is with that arm of his? No pushover, that's for sure. You must be involved with the main villains of- 
You don't let him get to you. He's just, he's a bad guy. He's the one that put the knives in that thing. Yeah. Yeah. You should tell everyone. Oh, you don't want to do it? No, that's okay. Okay, the people are relying on them for, for fishing, you see. Their nature, what do you mean? So who named him the Sacred Beast, then? So he's, so he's been- so his tribe's been keeping the secret of the beast being poison- spewing poison... ...and actually having their tusks cut to help make them docile... ...so that they could help the village, I guess. I'm sure you'll be fine. Okay, thank you. Hey, Duran, you got anything to say about this? Here. Now we can accept some quests. Pure waters. Yes, because we purified the poison river. That man. They must be involved with that evil magician. They have the same teleportation magic, you see. Any clear liquid? Merchant. So we got an. I assume we're supposed to look for a shopkeeper, recommend a good set, and some money. Well, I think I'll save for right now and stop. Next time I'll do the quest and then move on to hopefully the next area. Hopefully it won't be quite as dramatic as this one. Now we got a new villain in our scene, some sort of dude with some sort of mechanical arm. Of course, he's not as cool as a dude with a machine gun arm. You know, like Barrett. Maybe he got... Maybe he got his technology from Shinra for that metal arm of his. Yes, that would make sense, right? Yeah, that... Now you see the... You see, that um, is canon with this game, see? Yeah, you didn't know that? Yes, this game has a lot to do with um, Final Fantasy VII, you see? Actually, I'm just kidding. Anyway, goodbye and see you later. Hope you had plenty of fun. Bye-bye.